Mr. Beagley. Hey there, guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot. This is a game called Whack Your Boss 2, and this is the official sequel to the first game ever in the Whack Your series. And that sounds so weird to say aloud, to say that this is the official sequel, because there's been a lot of other games that have come out between that game and this one, but this is the one that was made by Duty Man, the actual creator of the first game. So I'm actually very excited to play it. It's called Fantasy Edition. I don't know what that entails, but let's go ahead and get started and see what new ways we have to kill the boss. There's WhackYourBoss.com, which is the website for the original game. All the other ones were made by different developers and things like that, so I find it really interesting that Duty Man would come back after so many years and create a new game. So it looks like it's the same scenario as the first Whack Your Boss game, and we have our boss here, and he's... You know, he's chewing us out for something stupid, it sounds like. So let's go ahead and try to find stuff. I think I saw something. The water cooler. Classic water cooler kill. Oh, man. <laughs> Just kicked him right in the face. And there's, like, the spy music going on. What are we going to do with this? Oh, right in the mouth. Uh, classic. Just, like, fill him up with water and blow him up this way. Oh, God. He's all deformed and gross and... Oh, he's going to... Yeah, I was going to say. He's going to explode any second. Wow, that is a really... Nice set of pants and uh, shoes and shirt because there's no blood stains at all on that guy and he just completely exploded him all over the place. There is blood everywhere and yet, you know, the entire office is clean except for the floor. And I don't know what he's checking. Why, why are you checking your watch, man? Why are you looking worried and checking your watch? You late for a meeting? Now that you've murdered your boss, you're like, oh, I better get to that meeting though at 12 o'clock. <laughs> so we use the cleaner, clean up the uh, the crime scene. Find another way to kill this man. <laughs> so already off to a good start very very goofy style kills the first game I think this is called fantasy edition because the first game it was sort of more realistic in the ways that you can murder this guy so uh oh oh that was interesting okay one of the ceiling panels lit up let's click that and we have this triumphant wonderful sounding music and the boss looks happy oh and it's the hands of god and they're reaching down to pull him up into heaven or so he thinks ah yes I've been selected Oh, oh my god. Yeah, he's gonna get turned into a, a squeeze toy. <laughs> oh, jeez. See, I don't get it. That time there's blood all over the walls and the ceiling and everything like that. God is not very friendly, by the way. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this time it, like, stained everything. Except for, once again, the guy. This guy has just, like, impervious clothing, which is fine. I need to get myself a set of that. Alright, let's look for kill number three. Now, there's only ten kills in this game, but already it looks like they're pretty funny to watch, so... Here we go, uh, maybe his own pencil? No, his papers, his pants, his shoes. Oh, yep, his shoes. Oh, all right, it's like a little platform. What's going to happen? Going to mush him into the ceiling? <laughs> he's happy because he's taller. <laughs> oh, shoot, it's like a hydraulic press. Oh, man. Wow, that one was gory. Okay, yeah, and you're just standing on his arm there, buddy, and you're going to listen to your, your music. Ah, yes, your self-help music. Probably need that if you want to murder your boss so much. To be fair... There has not been a lot of direct murder in this one. Like, besides the water cooler one, the other two were things like forces outside of our control that just happen to happen and kill our boss. So, we're not really to blame here. This is an easy one to get away with as far as murder goes. Although, I'm not sure many prosecutors who would, like, you know, actually believe that we didn't kill this guy and that some weird unseen force did. I have no idea. Let's go ahead and... Okay, these drawer, both these drawers have something in them. Let's go ahead and do the top drawer first. Oh, see, something he likes. Oh, you're stealing my gift, man? That's effed up. And we have a jetpack. Okay. And we're out of there. Oh, and the jetpack is actually a nuke. Okay. So we uh, we fled and we saved ourselves. And we have, like, sunglasses on now. Uh, that's a little effed up. It looks like the city's going to suffer for... Yeah. Okay, we just... <laughs> to kill our boss, we destroyed an entire city. <laughs> Not selfish at all, and I like that he had the sunglasses on because it's like, cool guys, don't look at explosions. We just fly away from them with our jetpacks. <laughs> all right, so the second one was down here. Let's see what's in this drawer. Oh, it's the devil this time. We had God, now we have the devil. And he pulled him into the drawer. Oh, <laughs> and he's in hell getting stabbed eternally. Oh, God, in the chest and the dick. Always have to have a dick kill in there. Oh, my God. Oh, and they're so happy. They're like, yeah, we did our job. We murdered this guy who was kind of just doing his job, although he's a condescending jerk face and probably deserves some of it. <laughs> Getting stabbed in the dick repeatedly until he died, though. Wow, that is intense. 
All right, so we got five out of the six or the ten. So here's number six. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, god. All right, so this one, yeah, a little bit more realistic. Oh, okay, not anymore. That was a Mortal Kombat fatality. Turn him into deli meat. Holy crap. <laughs> that was intense. That would take a lot of pressure to do that to a human body, especially with a telephone cord, because those things are not exactly the thinnest in the world. So that's a lot of pressure going there for you. I see why it's Fantasy Edition. <laughs> see what else we have. He has a poster of a unicorn on his cubicle, I just realized. All right. Computer, tape, stapler. All right, none of the obvious things. Oh, okay, this is pretty obvious up here. Got this covered, and there's a light that's scanning him. What's the light going to do? Uh, oh, okay, so it, like, completely vaporized his skin. <laughs> yeah, you're done for, buddy. And I'm off on my computer, like, playing games or something like that. Oh! And I bitch slapped the skeleton and it fell into a heap of bones. <laughs> now we're surfing the web. All right. Well, uh, we only have three more left, guys. This is a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. But there's a lot of creativity put into the kills here. I like this a lot. It's pretty goofy. Um, is there anything we... Oh, our... oh, both our hands. Okay, cool. I wonder if these are two separate ones or if it's one and the same. Here's one of them, though. Uh, what are we going to do here? Oh, Jesus! I thought he was going to pull out a skeleton, Mortal Kombat style. That was his whole body. It was all of his innards. That's gross! It's like a big bloody slug of a human now. It's like gooped across his desk. I also like that this guy, like, he murders his boss in these horrific ways where his boss gets splattered across his cubicle, and he just leaves it there, and he's like, you know what, I'm just going to go about my daily routine. Nothing out of the ordinary to have all this blood and guts everywhere all over the office. Good freaking lord. All right, so we had our other hand to click on as well. Let's click that thing, see what happens. Oh, using the force to rip this guy in half. Holy crap. Split him right down the middle like a pop-open hot dog. Oh, God. Yeah, and we're just going to stand on his bloody half of a corpse and once again listen to that self-help tape. Man, you need it. You definitely need it. <laughs> Especially if you're fantasizing about this kind of stuff. All right, so we have one more kill to do. I'm not sure what to click. The clock, maybe. Uh, another panel in the ceiling. The calendar. Uh, I don't know. Umbrella, maybe? Uh, oh, trash bin. Okay, so there's something in the trash. Let's go ahead and grab that. And what's that? A stabby thing. Oh, a unicorn, of course. Why not? <laughs> okay. So, now it's going to happen. Oh, Jesus. God, right through the cubicle wall. Good job, unicorn guy. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. So, we're riding off into the sunset, or the unicorn is trotting off into the sunset with the uh, impaled boss on him, spraying blood everywhere while the unicorn is smiling, happy, fancy free. So, that was the tenth kill, which is good. I, I wonder if we're going to have a, yep, a you win screen like all of Duty Man's other games. Very, very happy. Oh, God, Jesus Christ, Christmas. <laughs> right in the back and the ass. Oh, but then here comes God's hand to lift him into freedom, out of hell. And he's dangling his feet. He's all happy. And he's going to be placed in our position. See how you like it, man. And he's <laughs> he's been, like, walled in and chained into our position so that he has to do our terrible, mundane job. Although, I don't know why the entrance is, uh, you know, bricked off. There should be someone there to yell at him the way that he was yelling at us in the beginning. But anyway, so that was all ten kills for Whack Your Boss 2. That was the official sequel with all the fantasy kills. It was really, really goofy, very funny, just as funny as the other ones were. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video in favor. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye-bye.